the UFC leading Dino is one of the last game of the regular season needing a victory against high-ranked Regina. He fell behind early but made a strong run before the half. Led by Tanya Hadala Steels and Sheeden, the Dinos erased the deficit and squared the game by half. In the second half, the Dinos picked up where they left off and cruised into the playoffs with a victory over the Regina Cougars. He came out sort of slow tonight. What was the turning point? Um, you know, I think we just wanted it really bad and we picked our defense up and used the momentum of the crowd and just dug deep. Unfortunately, the Dinos met their match in the powerful undefeated FSFU clan going down in two to end their season. The men's team was in a three-way chase in the Mountain Division with the U of A and U of S. The final weekend against Brandon and Regina would set up their playoff fortunes. High-powered Brandon would use speed to set up shots and force turnovers. Eventually, a two-point Dino loss would cost them the bye despite an heroic effort against the mighty Bobcats. The following night, with a home playoff game on the line, Dinos got the W against Regina. Senior Ian Ferguson, in his last regular season game as a Dino, led the Dino charge. The dunking of the Cougars set up a showdown with U of A. We needed this win tonight, and we went out and played hard all game and, and went and got it. How did this feel your last home regular season game with Dino? It's a little bit sad, but there's a lot of good memories here. Those good memories will not include the playoff series against the U of A. The U of A was strong both from the outside and inside and shooting the lights out in the Dino season. The Dinos fell behind early in all three matches going out two games to one with too deep of an oil sand to dig their bones out from. An excellent night in shooting by the U of A. Was there anything you think you could have done different to slow their awesome shooting down? No, their inside game was strong and we couldn't handle that so we were playing a man and a half on their inside guys and giving up open shots in the perimeter of the floor. And basically, normally the percentages would be that way. There'd be a lot lower on the perimeter of the floor than there would be on the inside. With new TV sports, this is Jeff Townsend.